Hey guys, um, the long awaited for unveiling of the 2020 Alaska Airmen's Association Raffle Airplane Engine. This bad boy has not been opened yet, so we haven't seen what's inside of it. I wanted to save that for you guys. I also wanted to introduce a special guest today. This is my daughter, Adia. Hi. We are practicing hangar homeschool at the same time we're trying to build a raffle plane. Um, so yeah, without further ado, you want to do the honors and crack this baby open? Sure. Nice. Perfect. Oh, should have put these on. <laughs> there, now you're safe. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this. Scoot you in the way so I can get this off. Wow. Come on over, check it out. Whoa. Oh, it smells good too. So this is an extra oil pan because we're not sure after what Texas Skyways does to it um, whether we're going to need this oil pan or the oil pan that's actually on it to fit on the engine mount. So there she is. This is a Lycon built 0520F. Actually it was an IO520, I being injected. but Texas Skyways makes it an O520, which removes the injection system and puts the carburetor system on it, which makes things lighter. Um, so Lycon built it, and then Texas Skyways modified it to make it legal to fit on a Cessna 180. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to tear this whole box apart, and we're going to open it up, and we're going to find out what all is on there and I'll do another video probably tomorrow to show you guys all the details of what's actually attached to this engine um, and I sh think there should also be a dyno report in here so we'll know what kind of horsepower it's actually putting out and I can give you guys that information tomorrow so there's the engine raffle plane behind me is coming together again or still and it's making great progress as you can see it's got the flappy things on it now, the wings, and we are in the process of putting flaps and ailerons and running all the cables and the wires and getting the wings all finalized. So while that's happening, the engine will be going on in the next day or two. And uh, yeah, we should, be, we should be probably maybe 10 days out from test running and possibly test flying. So hopefully that'll all come together well if we don't have any other hiccups and um, we'll obviously share all that fun stuff with you guys. So until next time, stay safe. <laughs>